Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I am back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get back into One Piece. Actually, I'm not super happy to get back into One Piece for once, because this is one of the sadder parts of the manga for me. So I'm sure it's going to be very sad in the anime as well. Um... It's a tough part, man. Obviously, I think there are sadder and more, like, painful pieces within the story, but this is definitely one of the parts that hits me the most for some reason, is this part with Odin following his trip with Roger and his return to Wano. It, it's just so much to be said about the character. Anyway, we're going to get into it. As we all know from the last one, Odin has come back to a Wano that is not the same as when he left it. Uh, he already has been injured. Due to their skirmishes with Orochi and, you know, somewhat a failing, at least the samurais feel that way on the part of the Akazaya 9. And so now Odin's mad and looking for revenge. So we're going to see how this all goes. And hopefully, uh, it obviously, hopefully it stays true to the manga and maybe adds some new stuff that we haven't seen. Oh yeah, he looks like a... He's a demon god! しまし。ジーズ。ややこしい話はよくわからねえが、つまりはこうだ。I a weak fool. God damn, man. He is such a monster, though. Look at the height he catches. Why does he always look constipated? Is it just me? Does he always look constipated? Is it just me? <laughs> Fucking look at him. He's like the Roadrunner. <laughs> Look at their shitty guards. I think they added that. I don't remember that. I, I still gotta go back and read these. I kind of like it, though, because it's almost... It's not like I'm seeing it for the first time, but it's almost like I am because it's been a while and I don't remember. And these are parts of the manga I've only read once so far. Maybe twice, but th once again, this part was tough for me, so I didn't read it as much. I like it. It's really well written and it's well made, but man, it's not easy to watch. Dude didn't even need... An armament, he's just whipping him with a basic blade. And not such basic blade, obviously, as you can tell by the damage he's doing. Damn, he's actually kind of messed up. I wouldn't expect him to be even tinily roughed up by these guys. Even as samurais of the Wano Kingdom. God, he looks even worse young. Is that weird to say? Look at that pussy boy. That dude is soft. Softer than motherfucking butter in a microwave, dog. Dude's liquid. I like that. He's, that's such a Zoro thing to say. He forgot he's crazy! Here's Kaido. Look at his face there, dude. Look, did you see how happy he looks to be cutting this man down? I love Odin, bro. Odin is easily one of my favorite characters in all of One Piece, despite the fact I hate his design. He's one of the few people in One Piece where I don't enjoy the design. I I never understood this. What was... The, it was the old man, right? That has like a protection fruit or something? Yeah, he can create barriers. Oh, it's the bear. That's right. It's Bartholomew's fruit. I forgot they did say that. 
He has to come out eventually. They can't do that forever. Oh, he's inside the bubble, duh. Once again, that guy can't do that forever. I don't care who he is. Pick the whole thing up and throw it. Although it must have anti-gravity ones. You would deserve that fucking fruit. Odin will it, like... There we go, Kaido is the real thing, but... Once again... I, the reason for this was always so rough for me. They're actually expediating it a bit more in this, though, I feel like. Even still, he would still have to yield it, because that's what they said. We always assumed that he was poisoned. I'd cut the whole damn building down. Ah, she used to be fine, boys! Evenly with the world's greatest pirates. Not, not quite as much as Roger and Whitebeard as we saw. They're doing a little bit of a better job of showing why. A little bit. They needed to show <clears throat> Odin reacting to the hurt people. And hopefully in the retrospect, they'll show, obviously, the whole talk with Kaido and all that good shit. This is hard to watch. I, I actually watched this first because I knew I wasn't going to like it. I hate this part of the story. Like, it's really well written. Yep, and he's doing the song. They're really doing it up well as a fool. Once again, he, he should have just fought here, and that was always my thing. Like, it would have hurt some people, but it would have been better for everyone in the overall. Obviously, the story today couldn't take place if he didn't. Yeah. But, man, it's just rough. They really wanted to use this song again, too, that they made. Once a week, yeah. Wait, I thought they did more than that, but maybe that was right. At the same time, it really does... It's speaking to the character of Odin, right? This whole story is speaking to the fact that Odin, despite his great pride, power, and all this, is willing to... Uh, do this and debase himself you know sorry i'm getting just a little distracted but he's willing to do this and debase himself is this the one is this the turning where he finally oh the death of roger so that wasn't too long then because it was only a year after according to rayleigh it was only a year after they disbanded that roger turned himself in and was ex hate his troll ass bro oda is a troll motherfucker dude if you don't believe me this scene proves it. And the fact that they keep using it. They didn't have to see the passing of White Kichi from Blackbeard. That was one blessing of that. Damn, it really affected him too. Obviously, they were good friends, and they spent a lot of time together, but... What? He cried again. I'm so lost. I'm so confused. 24 years. Damn, this all happened so long ago. Right, because it's been two years since the start of One Piece in the, in the thing, or two or three. It's so weird seeing He's like smiling and, and crying. It was weird. It's a very weird animation and a very weird look, and it's, it's, it, it's definitely unique. 
That's why he's crying and laughing is because he died, but he lived a hell of a life. That was a little drawn out at the end there, but only because I wanted to see it progressing more in Odin's story, right? But uh, yeah, this one's rough for me. I'm so glad we're probably not getting a full episode of Fool of Odin because I felt like I felt like that was actually one part of Wano that was not as well paced was that whole thing. But I think the reason I feel that way is I don't what well, it's weird. I don't like it, but not that I don't like it and I don't recognize it's good. It's kind of like when you see, uh, I don't know, when, when, Bam, when Bambi's mom gets shot. That's not bad story writing and it's not a thing, but it always feels bad, right? Like when bad things happen to the characters you like. So I like that they're showing that and it's rough because this is really one of those ones that's well written, but it's a it's a losing one for those. Sorry if it's a spoiler for those, but obviously Kazuki Odin does not make it to the present day, right? So. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. A special shout out to our patrons. As always, Mesh Stringer, Mike Waters, you guys are the best, the bomb, and I really appreciate your continued support. These guys have been writing for a long time, and I they, literally, they, these are names I'll never forget, right? Like, that's how much it means to me, and how 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 much they've been writing. So, I appreciate it. Also, shout out to Great and Powerful Oz, man. So, I'm sorry I haven't been seeing it, and I hope you get to see this one. But I, I'm trying to get my shit together on this side of the the streaming and gaming so that when I go back, I can do streaming and gaming without a whole bunch of rough times. Also making some weird stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time on One Piece Reactions with the next. Remember, support that original content from Chira Oda, the goat of the god. And yeah, have a great day, guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.